At 4 o'clock, gunshots ring out at a New Jersey dollar store. The dramatic scene playing out in Absecon this morning as police officers opened fire. But as of now, we do not know why. Tuesday afternoon, I'm Sarah Bloomquist. And I'm Brian Taft. The big story on Action News today is the many unanswered questions about just what played out in Atlantic County earlier today. Investigators have been on that scene outside the Dollar General for hours now, but at this point, still haven't said much. It was quite a scene there. New Jersey correspondent mm -hmm. Trish Hartman joining us live from that store with more on what we do know so far. Trish. Well, Sarah Bryan, the Atlantic County Prosecutor's Office and local authorities are still here on scene. We'll give you a look here at the scene and the investigation outside of the Dollar General. You can see that large van is a crime scene unit from the Atlantic County Prosecutor's Office and a number of other officers here as well. Still a lot of unanswered questions. Police have not said why they were called here to the Dollar General in the first place. We do know that a person was shot by police officers this morning. Multiple gunshots were fired in the parking lot of the Dollar General in Absecon this morning. Viewer Frank Falcone recorded this video from across the street. Moments after the shots are fired, you can see the officers gather around what appears to be a person on the ground. Police officers were called here around 11 a.m. to the 700 block of New Road in Absecon. The Atlanta County Prosecutor's Office is now handling the investigation and confirms this was an officer involved shooting, adding that no police officers were injured. The New Jersey Office of the Attorney General has been notified, which is protocol for all officer involved shootings in the state. More than 40 evidence markers were placed at the scene near shell casings and what appeared to be a phone, a gun, and handcuffs. This car had its window shot out and blood could be seen on the sidewalk from Chopper 6. Who'd have thought that it would be in my own neighborhood, in my backyard? So I'm, I'm just concerned and afraid now. People who live in the apartment complexes nearby gathered to watch the investigation. I just want to know if uh, everybody's all right in there. I don't know if somebody's dead. I don't know if they're still alive in there. I don't know. Now, as for that person who was shot, no name, no condition has been released. We also don't know what took place leading up to the gunfire here. Now, a school about a quarter mile away, Holy Spirit High School, was placed on lockdown and a shelter in place during this incident as a precaution. We are told that the school day was able co to continue there as normal. Again, we're still waiting to hear from the prosecutor's office on a number of things, including the name of the person who was shot and what led up to the gunfire. We'll bring the latest to you when we get those details. Reporting live in Atsika, New Jersey, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. Yes.